WWE Extreme Rules, the one night where WWE goes extreme. Um, I don't have an intro or anything, so let's just get started. I mean, I never have an intro. Let's just get started. The first match we have, Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens inside a steel cage. Um, who's the babyface here? I mean, I guess Braun, but isn't he bullying Kevin Owens? I thought we didn't like bullies. What? What? Ha- I thought, what happened to be a star? What happened to all that? What? Well, where's Nia Jax complaining about bullies? I don't. I don't. Where's Where's everybody who complained? Anyway, um, Braun Strowman's gonna win this one's. Um, you know, Kevin Owens. Is, you know, they've had a little good. You know, feud, little feud thing they have going on here. Um, I mean, it's obvious Strowman's gonna win. He's gonna destroy Kevin Owens at Steel Cage, and he's gonna win. Next, Finn Balor versus Baron Corbin. Once again, this is a feud that kind of revolves around. You know somebody bullying somebody else um you know corbin's picking on finn balor because he's smaller than him um uh, i like the, the new the new look corbin has at first the bald head i was kind of like i don't know how i feel about the bald head but now i'm sold on it i like it, it looks better than you know him with the long hair but i mean he barely has anything on the top and it's just kind of the back um you know so um finn balor is gonna win this match i think it makes the most sense. Even though Baron Corbin's been, um, you know, winning a lot as Constable Corbin. Uh, but I'm going with Finn Balor. Next, Jeff Hardy versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the United States Championship. Um, they've wasted Nakamura a little bit here. I mean, you know, people, you know, really liked his heel turn. I liked where it was going. But, I mean, they wasted, you know, months with him feuding with AJ Styles for the not even he put the title on him and him to decide oh, I'll go after the US title. Um Jeff Hardy's been a forgettable champion. But then again a lot of the champions here have. I think I said that last time. Um yeah, but Jeff Hardy's been forgettable. Um Nakamura I think Nakamura should take his title off um Jeff Hardy. I mean they're starting to do something with Jeff, you know, with the whole face paint and all that, but I I, I don't care. Um, they haven't done anything to make me care. And also, they need to bring back Jeff's pyro I, and his old theme. Maybe then I'll care about Jeff Hardy. Um, Nakamura's winning. Next, we have Roman Reigns versus Bobby Lashley. It's actually been a pretty interesting feud. Um, you know, I like with them. You know, at first I was like, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see Bobby Lashley versus Roman Reigns. Give me anybody um, but Bobby Lashley versus Roman Reigns. Like, Roman Reigns against anybody would be awesome. But I don't care. I don't. I don't care about Bobby Lashley. But this is, you know, they've actually made me care about this a little bit. Um, I think Roman should win, and I also think that this match needs some type of stipulation. As of right now, it doesn't. But the way these guys have been going after each other, there needs some type of, to be some type of stipulation. You can't just have this be a normal match. Like, there needs to be like an extreme rules or something added to this. This can't just be Roman Reigns versus Bobby Lashley. There has to be something extra. Uh, I have Roman winning. Next, Dolph Ziggler versus Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship in a 30-minute Iron Man match. Like, um, I, I get it. Seth and Dolph can wrestle these long matches, and they can go on and on. You know, they can wrestle for hours, man. You know, but do we really need to see it? It's like, we get it. These guys are great wrestlers, and they can do it forever. But just because they can't do it forever doesn't mean they have to see it, them go on forever. Like, it's, after a while, it's like, okay, we've seen them. They're going to go for at least, like, 15 minutes, same match. It's like, we've seen this match a couple times already on Raw. And now you're giving us, giving it to us again for another 30 minutes? I think, I mean, I'm not saying I'm tired. They put on great matches, but we've seen them before, is what I'm saying. Um, Dolph's going to retain. The Bludgeon Brothers is Team Hell No, as Team Hell No has reunited. Um... The Bludgeon Brothers have been forgettable as champions, um, you know, and team and everybody seems to be, you know, love Team Hell No, but I think the Bludgeon Brothers um, need a win. They need a big win against a team that's established like Team Hell No. Um, you know, you can have Kane eat the pin and you'll be fine. You just, you've built up the Bludgeon Brothers, but you haven't made me really care. And you also, like, they've been forgettable. So I think them getting a win over Team Hell No could really help them out. Um, so I have the Bludgeon Brothers winning. Next, we have Carmella versus Asuka for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship where Ellsworth will be, um, you know, um, held up in a shark cage thing. Um, 
is Asuka finally going to win? Like, you know, she should have been champion a long time ago. I don't think Carmella needed to hold the title this long. Um, Asuka should win this match. I mean, Carmella champion has been meh. Um, Asuka should win. I mean, Asuka, I mean, they've really made her mean absolutely nothing at this point. But uh, give her the title. Why not? Next, um, you have the deleters of world or whatever they're called. Matt and Bray. I mean, they haven't really. Eh, I don't really care. Uh, versus the B team. Um, I have Matt and Bray. I mean, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't. I don't care about this match at all. I don't care about this team. Um, the B team's um, entrance theme is kind of cool though, um, but I don't care. The, the leaders of World are gonna retain. Next, we have Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax in an Extreme Rules match for the Women's Championship. We all know who's going to win. We all know who I'm going to pick. I'm always right for the most part when I pick Alexa Bliss. So we're going to do it again. I'm picking Alexa Bliss. I mean, I don't care about Nia Jax. I, I really don't. When Because she's been feuding with Alexa Bliss, I have to mute my screen instead of um, accident, accident, uh, actually like changing the channel because I still want to see Alexa Bliss. Um, so I just mute my TV whenever she, she's talking. Um... You know, I just I, I don't care for Nia Jax. I mean, I I, I mean it'd be kind of cool if she were to get fired, with and just leave and never see her again, or just put her on SmackDown. I don't watch SmackDown as much. Just put her there. Next, AJ Styles versus Rusev. Um, I think AJ wins. Uh, finally, they're giving Rusev a shot, but I don't think that they're gonna give him the title. It'd be nice to see that happen. It'd be a happy Rusev day, but it's not gonna happen. AJ Styles. We'll retain the WWE Championship, and that is my Extreme Rules predictions.